Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 50. In this segment, we have a heckin' showdown race to do with Kurt Busch at the Devil's Canyon Speedway. So uh, let's just 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 go ahead and do that. Also, Devil's Canyon Speedway, pretty interesting track, as you see by this preview image. So here we go, and we're we're racing in Turks, but not NASCAR trucks. We're racing for Turks. Big Ford truck, yeah. Woo. My penis is tiny, that's why my truck is huge. I don't fucking know. Okay, and tell us, been a bit, been a while since I've uh, last recorded this game. At least a week. So I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But anyways, show and Kurt Busch, Devil's Canyon Speedway. It's a... Uh, Pretty interesting fantasy track. I think this is, other than like the prologue race with, against uh, Ryan Newman, I think this is our first like full fantasy circuit that we've done a showdown at. Like we've done like you know the fantasy road courses of actual speedways, but I think this is our first like fully fledged fantasy course, which is interesting and cool. No, you don't, Kurt. You're not beating me. I'm, I'm taking this truck. You cannot stop me. Only I can stop me. And I'll probably end up stopping me by fucking up somewhere. Somehow. Because that's what I do. So. There's a truck with the Ford GT engine, if you remember correctly. That's interesting, if that's true. What is this, like the SVT Lightning or something like that? I think this is called. The Lightning! Still not as good as the uh, Dodge Ram SRT10, because that has the, you know, the Viper uh, V10 in it. Did I finish GT Sport 100%? Casually, yes. Yes, I have. At least up to the, you know, its current point. Also, I pulled out a two-second lead on Kurt Busch here. Fucking see you, Kurt. Oh, shit, that's a wall. Now you know. Anyways, yeah, um, I don't really care about trucks, so... You know. You know? You know. I just never was a truck person. I mean, NASCAR trucks are cool. But, meh. Also, Utes. Ute racing is cool. And the El Camino is great, but. Yeah, other than that, meh. Also, I win very easily. <laughs> After that first lap, Kurt just kind of gave up. So, hooray, we've unlocked the Ford SVT Lightning. Yeah. yeah. We won by almost three and a half seconds. Nice. Alright, well, there's our showdown out of the way. Now, before we go to the meat of our segment, which is going to be our next modified race, I need to show you something for... I actually changed up the livery a little bit on my modified car. It's now uh, got blue with white stripes. So basically, Viper. Yeah. So there you go. And there's my awesome suit. The flames and the blue flames and the flames. So anyways, to Milwaukee for the Badger State 150. We go. EA Sports and the Milwaukee Mile would like to welcome you to today's NASCAR Featherlight Modified Series race. Many of the sport's greatest drivers will be in the field looking for that critical win against some of the sport's hottest young upstarts. Today's events are only minutes away. Who will win the race for the checkered flag? So, uh, guess what? Lap one poll. Yep, mm-hmm. That happened. This is basically going to be a very dominant modified season with my fully upgraded car, but hey, it's my car. Also, check out the new livery. Sometimes simple, simpler is better. And when you have no idea how to design liveries, even with preset, uh, like, designs, it's best to go with simple. So here's my simple car. Blue with white stripes.
It's kind of weird, because, like, <clears throat> the stripes are offset in terms of the actual bodywork. But they're about center in terms of, like, the overall, like, width of the car. So that is strange. Dude, nice god car. Uh, well, yeah, look at this shit. I'm already a second and a half ahead, almost, after two laps. I gained two tenths just on the entry to turn one. Like, holy fuck. This thing is insane. Like I said, these modified races can be very, very dominant wins. For the most part. The Forbidden One has been unleashed. Fucking Exodia of cars. Vroom. Obliterate, etc. <clears throat> With the Nimba 90 Wound. Also, I, cha I changed my, uh, I think I changed my number font from the last segment, so yeah, there's that as well. So, everything has changed. Except not really. Do you like easy wins? Because this is a fucking easy win, I'll tell you what. This is gonna be an easy win. And I don't think we're gonna have a situation like a red ball where, uh, you know, once my tires wear out, then they'll catch me, because tire wear isn't quite as bad here as at red ball, so. Christ, that's a fast boy. Yes, it is. Like, look at this shit. So quick. This is what happens when you have more than enough money to fully upgrade your car immediately. Will I be able to do the same next season in the truck series? Who knows? Maybe. It'd be pretty ridiculous if I could. I mean, the goal is to get enough money this season to uh, start my own truck team next season. Hopefully I can do that. this modified success and hopefully truck success I should be able to plus I'm getting a much bigger cut <clears throat> in my truck winnings this season compared to last season and of course I'm getting pretty much all the money from modified races so yeah so woo I guess yay Hey guys, my lead's almost five seconds already. <clears throat> uh, slight break in the gap, er, yeah, break in the gap, that's what I was about to say, no. Slight gap in the pack here, second place, actually second and third of, I think, or maybe it's just second, has pulled a gap on cars behind, then there's a little break like in the middle of the pack almost. Of course, when I dominate races like this, I have to always point out, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. By the way. Because, you know, I can't change any of the settings like that once I start a career. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> How's it going, chat? For another like f fucking like five to ten minutes of just me cruising around Milwaukee here. Because <clears throat> that's what we're about, we're going to get. Mm -hmm. I can speak. This is my PP. This is my phone. What are you going with this, Q? Where are you going with this? Porn is stored in the phone. I see. <laughs> God damn it, Q. <laughs> Fucking hell.
fall back to last and make it interesting. Clearly, except I don't, I don't feel like it. I say I'm just going to completely miss turns 3 and 4. <clears throat> so this car sure is quick. I mean, just giving them the wall a nice little kiss. Oh, someone's blown up. Or, yep, blown up. Rip that guy. I think that's the car with the uh, the 131, aka the truck that I'm driving. Neat. Oh, thank you, Ruben. Glad you enjoy my content. Oh, I think Blown Engine Guy is holding up these, the feel here. Yep. We got some shenanigans. We, we got some serious shenanigans. We have a crash. Yep, we got cars crashed, spun into the pit wall. What the fuck happened here? I mean, we know what happened here. It's just, uh, oh. Got one of the guy that still stopped on the track. No cautions, though, because modified series. And he's still there. Although he's pointing in a different direction, so I think he's trying to recover, maybe? <clears throat> Not sure. Looks like he is. Oh, he's going again. He's recovered. Come back to see shenanigans, yeah. Blown engine guy caused a lot of uh, hoopla. And we're just uh, now halfway through the race, nice. for it. Waiting for it. Oh, oh, there we go. Ten second lead. At the halfway point here in Milwaukee. It sounds like a lot of hoopla over a modified race, right? <laughs> Wrong. Fucking cr the Krusty Krab training video is like my second favorite Spongebob episode behind Band Geeks. It's so good. Like, it's legit an amazing, uh, fucking amazing episode. I need to watch that again. Hello, Mr. Clean. This guy started on the outside pole, by the way. Oh, shit. Well, that's not one way to make a clean overtake. In fact, that's not a clean overtake at all. So, yeah, I just got, I just slapped the guy who started second. Pizza delivery episode rank up. Oh, yeah, the pizza delivery one was great. I don't know what would be my third favorite. Like, there's Band Geeks, the Krusty Krab training video. Um, I don't know. Like, mm, I don't know. Maybe pre-hibernation week, just because they use Pantera music. Yeah, I brought a Mercedes F1 car to this race, in case you haven't noticed. Me am dominant, dude. I should just change this livery to replicate that of a Mercedes F1 car. Shit, what other really good SpongeBob episodes were there? Oh, the fucking, the, uh, the jellyfish party one. There's that one. Jellyfish Jam is, is legit, like a lit as fuck song. <clears throat> I 
slapping back markers because they got caught up by blown engine guy. Don't fucking find the hay in the needle stack. We're gonna go for a bike ride in the park. The industrial park. Da -da 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 -da. Fucking oh yeah, the episode SpongeBob broke his butt. Indoors. <clears throat> Real Talk used Napkin was the greatest Spongebob side character. I don't know why they never brought him back. Ha ha. Ten to go here at Milwaukee as we just talk about Spongebob now. I mean, you know, we got through the fucking fracas that whatever the fuck happened here. So I'm I'm stretching for content. Oh yeah. Fucking one word, SpongeBob Patrick adopt a baby clam. That was an Oh dude, the Doodle Bob episode. That might hmm. That's a contender for like my SpongeBob podium. Be hoing Be New student starfish. Fucking big fat mooney. And there's the fucking swearing episode. I just remembered the swearing episode. Crabs is a. As if this is what I really look like. Boating school? I thought this was math class. I'm out of here. See you, SpongeBob. See you, Big Fat Meanie. Oh god, Wayne, please. Like, I know we're share drafting, but please. Oh. The guy behind me hit the pit wall. Good. Hey, Patrick, how the. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Good, Spongebob. So what other great Spongebob episodes were there? Oh yeah, there's the, uh, the Krusty Krab talent show. That was a good one. Fucking Spongebob gets uproarious applause for being a janitor. It's always fantastic. Oh, hey, this guy's slightly angry with me. I think my tires are starting to wear a little bit. Because, boy, that was some understeer. Outside, outside, you got one outside. Am I sandbagging right now? Or no, I'm not sandbagging. Actually, my tires are wearing a bit. They have an un yes, they have an uncensored version of a fucking children's episode of a children's show, clearly. Another favorite is Spongebob and Patrick babysit Man Ray. God, remember the fucking... Yeah, the fucking... Uh, Quintology of the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episodes? Those were good. Got it set to M for many. We should set it to W for Wumbo. I have my right front of his warrant. With two to go. I feel like through all the SpongeBob uh, discussion, I need to play some SpongeCore on the stream. Because SpongeCore is great. Risk it. We're on the final lap. Don't need to anger the man here. There we go. Very, very easy win at Milwaukee. 
with some various shenanigans slightly aiding me in my victory. We're gonna play some sweet victory. Aw, oh, dude, I know I need to play on stream. Fucking jellyfish jam. So, 120 grand. Got five from uh, merchandise, damn. Awesome, so there we go. I'll win from pole, lead every lap. Just like I did at Red Ball, I think that's how I did it. And I won by 12 seconds. So, hooray. So, who are the guys that I lapped? Oh, well, we got all the way up to 12th place. Almost lapped half of the field. <clears throat> There's Hanson, who started second. Mr. Clean. And it looks like Davis retired towards the end. Oh, no, Davis didn't retire. He's the guy that got stuck on the pit wall for like three laps. Black was the one that retired with a blown engine, so. There's that. That was uh, pretty interesting. <clears throat> I have to say, look at those fucking flames, man. And my cool shades. Like, I could just break into a fucking cover of New Millennium Cyanide Christ at any point with them shades. I love you if you get that reference. But anyways, so. There's that. Before I check the standings, let's see how my merch sales went. Saying, well, I am hot. T-shirts are fucking flying off the shelves. You know what? Let's uh, let's raise the price. Let's go to eleven bucks per shirt. Get some more moolah. Cause why not? But anyways, let's check out the updated point standings for the modifieds. I have a perfect three hundred eighty score, fifty points ahead of Kelly Walker. Ha ha ha. And of course, I got. Two poles in two races. So only one thing, one more thing to check out is my new plaque for winning that race for the first time, the Badger State 150. There you go. Yep, this is totally January 21st, 2016. Nope, mm-hmm. Clearly. This totally isn't March 2018. Nope, mm-mm. It's 2016. We back in time. But anyways, that'll conclude this segment. So, also we got the uh, SVT Lightning. So... Five out of eight production cars are mine. But anyways, with that, stay tuned for more NASCAR and our next race and our next next.